Hi guys, welcome to some T-Rail Valley. Game I've been playing uh, a little bit of on the side. Oh, I haven't been doing any of this yet. Stay away from that. I'm still learning the basics and this is getting an update at the end of the month. I'm just going into like full simulator mode. So, here's what it is. Um, we have a small locomotive, I guess. And we can take jobs around this map. So there's hauling jobs, shunting jobs, which I haven't actually done yet. A uh, bunch of things like that. There's proper logistics halls where there's multiple things needed. Uh, you're 220. You're going from this town. We're in Goods Factory in town. And you're going to Harbour Town. You can see on the map. We're in goods and factory, or goods factory in town, and we want to get down to the harbor. So, list is probably to go down through the steel mill and go that way. <clears throat> you see, we have a job number there as well. Let's go find this. FFH27. Uh, this game was made for VR at first, so we can kind of hit the F key to hop around a bit. Which is basically your sprint button. So I don't think. Oh, is it this one? Yeah. Okay, so this is our. Pick up these four cars here. And we want to grab the far side, so we're going to want to get back on this rail, turn around. Let me see where I have all of these. So we're in Goods and Factory Town. We're currently down at. Uh, D. So to turn this thing around. Hmm. What do I want to do to turn this around? I need to reverse back through. Okay, yeah, I need to reverse back and then drive up across the station and then reverse back again. Yeah, okay. So let's do that. So I'm gonna turn on our engine. Let the pressure build up in the brakes anyway, and uh, we've just turned them off. Put that into forward. Hopefully you can still hear me. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. We're just gonna roll it forward a little bit. Once you start the engine, you start getting fees that we're going to have to pay later on. We're going to use our little radio to switch that so that we can go onto the right track. And now we're in reverse. I've done a couple of jobs. We have a little bit of money in. And uh, that, the last job that we dropped off was these cars here. Yeah, 
we're coming out of D. We need to go through two turn signals. So here's the first one. Yeah, then we're going across there. We need to go behind this signal here. These are not exactly um, one to one maps. <laughs> I hope I went the right way. Yeah, we're good. We're going to be back on the main line at the far side. There is the service area, and then we're back onto the main line, which we're going to take straight back. I think the limit is 50 here. Slow down a little bit. Make sure we don't go around in a circle. And then we want to be this central line here so we'll change that Brakes on, come out here, and we need to couple up the trailers. We need to release the valves on the brakes. You see the pressure is building again. Oh, 
very important stuff. And now we're good to move around. We can't hop out. So we're pulling away with those four. Use the F key to get back in. Pretty sure that's not a good noise, but hey. So I'm just going to bring her to a stop here. Hmm. Slowly. We're going to be going into that building there to accept the mission and start it all. Because you, you can set up your trailers and everything before you accept the mission, which is kind of handy. Anyway, that's going to stop there. It's our little shunter. So we have 38 minutes to get down to the harbour town once we uh, pop this mission in here. There is a good little tutorial in the game. Um, yeah, the mass is 220 tonnes. I think that thing can haul about 400 at max. Uh, it's going to give us 10,900 base payment and then we get a bonus if we get it there before 38 minutes. Now we have all of the info that will tell us exactly where those trailers were. They were on the D40 or D40 out line. We need to take them to Harbour Town and go to the G5 in line. Don't worry about that later. So we go to here, we can scroll through to Harbour Town. I'm going to go to G. It's going to be fun to get to. And then we're going to the five inline. Coming in from the west. So, right now we're leaving Goods and Factory Town. We'll be taking left at the next junction, down through the steel mill, staying left, staying left, staying left, and then we'll be in a descent into the harbour.
see. We're going to about 50. I'll, uh, I'll uh, come off the power there, just in case. If we're going downhill. We are picking up a bit of speed. I have not derailed yet. Wanna steady out here, I think 60 is plenty for the moment. Yeah. We wanna be sure we're going left, I think we are. Here we are. That's all fine. Our speed is okay. Limit is 50 on this side. Just stay under that a little bit. New limit is 70. temperature as well. Good going about 60. I haven't even touched mods or anything for this game. Well, I haven't even gone that far in the game. Limit is a hundred, eh? Okay, yeah. Keep it around 70 yard. You see, yeah, the speed limit's about to come down. Keep it safe, you know. We're about to start entering the steel mill. coast and let the temperature go back down. We're in no major hurry. So we're going to go straight through the steel mill. Is basically straight through. So just keep an eye on our uh, postings. And then we're going to be going down to the harbour town.
Hopefully I didn't miss a speed point there. And we're still at 70. We are going uphill. We'll bleed off a bit of speed now. Maybe. Uh, that's where you do your tutorial. Alright, we're coming up to the steel mill. We'll coast through. That's correct. There is a turntable and everything down there, which is kind of handy. And this all looks... Now it looks correct. That was going to bring us over there. So we'll just coast straight through. We're sticking to the left again when we get through here. We just tip on until we come up to the next junction, which we're sticking left at as well. Oh, wheels are spinning. We could drop down some sand. Um, to help with that. Engine temperature is in the yellow. again for a bit. Uh, that looks like it's going to the left. Yep. But we're all good. Limit is 70 to the left, 60 to the right. Even though this is 80. We're going to let that temperature drop a little bit more. Our speed is going to drop a little bit, but that's fine. So we have another junction coming up, and we're going to go left again.
So this is a bunch of different functions. Main one you're going to be using is the switch function. Gonna coast through here for a bit. A little under 50, we're all right. I don't have the stopwatch or anything like that. There's a couple of items that you can buy. You can also buy a remote control, which is handy. You link it to your locomotive. Pretty cool. Okay, and we're going right at the next major junction. Temperatures are rising a bit, that's okay. We'll coast here in a minute. I don't want that going into the red. So I believe when simulation comes out at the end of the month, there's going to be a day-night cycle. Um, I believe weather effects. A bunch of other things. Be pretty cool. Up to the junction soon. Again, we're going right. for that so we're going through the tunnel yeah, we're going 50 so we're good we're going downhill now so we can uh, lay off the power see our speed is increasing already and 
keep an eye on that. Got a limit of 60 here. And what is this one? 40? Yeah. Get some of that universal break on. Oh, train break, I don't know which is the universal, which is the train. Independent and train. There we go. That's the words I was looking for. This is a very powerful break, so you want to be actually using it less than I did. I used it way too much because it doesn't stop the braking. good at 60 but that's going to reduce yeah look at that down to 40 here do you see that even that little touch of the train brake has dropped us way down to that it's 80 but there's a uh, decline descent even that would be the word We have a junction coming up and we're sticking it to the left. And it looks like it's set up that way. I do have the brakes on. Yeah, this is a 40. So we're going to come into the harbour. We are going through uh, two junctions and then on the third junction we're going right. And then we're taking the next left. And 
Uh, we're going downhill here. We're going to pick up speed. Yeah, we're coming in from the west. We're taking the left. We're going straight. And then we're taking the right. And we're going left into G. And then in G, we're going straight, then right, then left. limit is 40. Yeah, we're going straight past this one. That'll take you into service area. There's the big boys and the steam engine, I believe. Then we're going straight through the next one, which is here. Yeah. You can see there's spare locomotives laying around as well. here yeah and then we're going left the next one I hope I'm right we'll find out soon straight through this, we're going right here, then we're going left onto the first track. And that is G5I, which is where we're dropping this to. Now we just gotta make sure that the uh, cars are in this little section, which they will be once we stop. thing in reverse and this do that we'll move you out of the way now
Actually, do you know what? Uh, oh no, no, no. I want to hand in the job straight away. Turn off the engine. Right, so our little shunter's there. Our job is delivered into G5i, where we wanted it. And then we need to hand this in at the station house, which I believe is this right here. Let me in. And boom. There we go. We did it in 28 minutes. So we got an extra 5,400. There's our money. Oh, no environmental damage either. That's good. And yeah, throw that in the bin with G. And be my money. So now we have 55,000. So if we go into feeds, we can have a look at this. So over that trip, we made what? What did we make? 16,000? 16,900? 16, but we have fees of 7,600. Uh, but because of our the licenses we own and everything, our insurance covers everything, and we only need to pay a hundred dollars. So uh, let's get from that deposit hundred dollars. Pay that. Um, all fees cleared. You may now now buy new licenses, which are down here. So currently we have train driver, freight hall, and shunting. Uh, we don't have multiple units. Manual service, I haven't even gone there. Logistics hall is a type of job. The DE2 is what we're using at the moment. And the DE6 is like supposedly just a really powerful upgrade. And I believe the SH282 is a steam engine. We'll actually go over and have a look at that. The current jobs would allow us to get take more than one job at a time. So like now that we've delivered those four trailers here, they could actually be on a job to go somewhere else now. Like there's shunting jobs, which uh, I've never done. There's a freight haul there of 900 tons, which our little guy cannot do. Logistics haul, we'd have to get the license. You can see in the license there that you need a, a long one license and delivery haul. It's only 77 tons though. Liver gas and diesel, it's 400 ton. You need hazmat license for that. Another logistics haul. I've never done a logistics haul. That's interesting because it's so light. But going to Goodstown or Goods Factory where we just were. Deliver scrap mill to the steel or scrap to the steel mill. We'll probably do that one. Two pickups in this. Shunting is preparing trains and stuff. So I presume you do a shunting job and then it becomes a, a freight job or a logistics job. 445 tons. Uh, I'll do a shunting job at some stage. Not right now though. That's only 200 tons. I may have to get the logistics hall license. Freight hall, 429 tons. We can't do it with all those. The shunting job. Unload and store a train with pipes. All empty cars for a logistics job. Deliver cryo oxygen to the steel mill. You need hazmat too for that. Great haul to the food factory town. You need long two for that. And that's back to goods factory town. It's only nine grand though compared to. Oh. Couldn't take the both of them. I'm gonna take the steel mill one because it's just a simple job. Um, 
Go over and have a look at these trains, though. Turntable there. So yeah, this is what we're using. The little, uh, small little locomotive. This is the steam engine. As far as I'm aware, it's, uh, I can't even get into it, but it's very complicated. Which would be cool later down the line. This is the DE6. As you can see, it's a big boss of a yoke. That's kind of cool. Uh, but what we can do right now, go back over to you. Let's see, we're going to go with this one. So we don't get all the info unless we accept the job. But your timer starts once you accept the job. Uh, so we're doing scrap metal. Your station is F, transfer yard is E, crane loading yard is T, and liquids, and military base. Could be any, no, it's scrap metal, so let's, uh, let's have a look over here. Like, it's not in this yard where we are bins of scrap metal. This was liquid loading, right? Yeah, there's not four bins of scrap metal here either. Or is there? Here we go. This is it. HBFH 60. So this is the one we want. I'm going to be wanting to go out that way because we're going to the steel mill. We're currently facing the other way if we're looking at our little shunter. So... What do I want to do? Oh, I want to go back all the way out and I can reverse that way. Sorry if the jumping around is annoying, but it's the quickest way to get around. Could of course just take another shunter. But we won't we'll move this. So we're gonna reverse. we're not going to reverse we're going to go forward and get onto the central line then we're going to reverse because we need to get past this signal Switch that so that we're going straight back through. There's a way to free the mouse up, but I can't remember what it is. Because I want to show you where we're going, but uh, anyway. So we're reversing into G, we're going to reverse back up onto the main line. 
and then at the T-junction near the service area, we're going to reverse down towards C, head back out towards the west, and then we'll be able to reverse back over to E and pick up the load we're looking for. And then we'll basically drive back over to, like, around here. Go in, accept the job, and head back to the steel mill. We'll get some more money. Alright, so we'll come back out onto the main line. Yeah, we're going 30-30. It's fairly flat in here, so that's good. We're going to be using this reverse down there. And then we're going to go forward out the other side until we go past the junction and then reverse straight back down there again. So that we can hitch up to our trailers. Cars, whatever you want to call them. Did I go back far enough? I don't think so. We're just going to go past this signal here, which is already set in the right direction. in the correct direction to line up to these cars. This one changed, and the one behind it changed. Actually, no, it's that one. We want to go into the second lane here. So this one will take us off the main route. This one will bypass the first one. And then we have this one set to bring us in to this lane here. Which is E40 or E40 or E4 out, whatever it is, I don't know.
Alright, so we hook that up. Uh, we hook up the lines. Um, I don't know what the blue one is for. I'm sure it's for something. Waiting for the brake pressure to build. Better double check this before we do anything. HP FH60. And as you can see, there is um, condition on all the vehicles and so on. So while he's doing that, we'll go over and do this. So, yep, we picked up the right ones. We're heading to the steel mill and we're going to A6I. And I could have had him going a lot faster. If you remember when we came in, then we were at a fairly hefty downhill slope. So obviously getting out of the harbour is going to be a bit of a push on this little dude. Although this is only 200 tons or so. Yeah, 232 tons. It's still going to be a little bit of a push. So we're going right at the next junction, then left through the tunnel again, and then we're staying to the right. Let's pick up some speed here, if we can, to help us once we get up. The speed is already dropping.
Alright, that has the right setting. We've leveled out now though, so we are picking up a little bit of speed. So, we are going to A6I in the steel mill. Okay, so we're going to go straight in through the steel mill and we can reverse back down into A6I. That'll be interesting. This building, yep. Make sure we're under the forty, just in case. We're not losing much speed, so I want that temperature to drop. We'll be coming up to the junction, we're going to stay left.
and it is set correctly so we don't need to change that This thing does not like the heat. So we've got a bit to go, um, no real junctions for us until we reach the steel mill, which we'll just be staying right at. Uh, you do have a home, which I've never been to, because you don't start there in the tutorial, so we might take a trip up there. But first things first, we're going to go straight in through the steel mill, through B go past the last junction, reverse down into uh, a 6 eye, was it? 6 eye, yeah. We'll, we'll go stand on the, the back there once we get reversing. Keeping her steady about 50. Should be there in plenty of time. We had how long? 32 minutes, yeah, loads of time. Again, that's kind of why it's helpful to go find it first and set it up. Yeah, you've got your breakers here, which you flip and then turn on the engine. You've got your independent brake, your train brake. Pretty much everything on here. You have your cab lights, headlights. Uh, we have a fan. Is that for the engine, though? Is that a way of cooling the engine? Or is that just supposed to be in here? I don't know. Headlights, of course, will be more important once the day night cycle comes in. We have our fuel, we have our sand, emergency stop for the engine. pace a little bit. Yeah, we're coming up to a junction now. 
We're gonna throw on that brake early. The junction is probably gonna be what, 50 or maybe even 40. Down to 60. We don't have to do anything at this junction because of its layout, except to be at the right speed so that we don't derail. Okay, we're good. Pretty good now until we get to this CML. You know. Just have to make sure that the next junction is set correctly. It is lovely. It's like it says the limit is 80 there, but we're coming into the steel mill, so it goes straight down to 50, which is why I kind of like to stay under them. And we're going to go straight through the mill. Everything should be lined up to go straight through the mill. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. actually want to go down there yeah and we want to go into the second one down there so we're gonna go through this and we're gonna make sure that the last of our cars is through there I think we can stop about here. So we want to go 
left here. We want to stay left here. And then we want to go right there. And then we want to go right here. And then we're dropping it into 6i. Go all the way back. And then we're not going to have to worry. Upper into reverse. Take off the brake. Yeah, not too shabby. Uh, went too far. Then we're going to decouple the trailer. Uh, which is... That uh, there, I guess. I'll do. stop somewhere eventually where are we going over here I want to hand in this job oh my god were we 12 seconds too late we were 12 seconds too late god damn it so even that like we didn't spend too much time messing around. But uh, we missed the bonus by 12 seconds. Alright, and again then, if we go in here, we'll see that. So what did we get for that? Oh no, we did get the time bonus. What? Bonus time is 32 minutes. Never mind. I'm an idiot. But without that bonus time, we would have only made like a... Uh, well, not that much. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and the engine is still running, so we're still uh, getting charged for stuff. Let's turn that off. Hey, Tiger. How you doing? All the lurks. I need to do up a lurk thing. Okay, so now if we go into our fees. 6,200. Again, the base payment on that was like 7,000. So it's kind of important to get the... To get the um, bonuses if you can. Now, let's see about licenses. Also, what are our stats? So our copay is currently 100. B tolerance is 9,860. I don't know what that means. There are 19 licenses. Okay. Uh, speaking of licenses, we have 60 grand. Oh. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Brain length, what do you do? I, uh... Our insurance copay goes up by three grand. Time bonus deadline at minus two percent. But it means we can haul longer trains. What does concurrent jobs do? Seven thousand five hundred. So you gotta realize our insurance copay right now is a hundred. So we would have had to pay all of that if uh, we did that. Okay. Can I get the DE6? That's oh, 200,000. No, I can't. Hazmat, we won't be doing that right now. There are military ones as well. Multiple unit. First need to own concurrent jobs one in order to buy that. Okay. Logistics? Need concurrent jobs. One. Which one was that? Is that the 7,000? That was the 7,000. Oof. Okay, no, I'm going to get the train length, I think. Oh, yeah. Now, there's our glorious certificate. We can go straight. Straight into the bin. Hmm. What have we got? From the steel mill to the machine factory town. Oh, I haven't been up there yet. That's interesting. Nearly eight grand. <coughs> Excuse me. For 164 tons. That's the wrong button. Uh, sorry if I'm sniffling a lot. I do uh, like a head cold slash throat infection. So if we had concurrent jobs, we could actually take both of them. No, we couldn't because just over 400 tons total. Then we should probably just take that one. Because it's worth four grand more. So that's what we'll do. We'll take this one. Go find it. Is that it right there? That is the other one. So yeah, that is uh This is the one we're after. SMFH twenty five is not a bother. We can now, go get our locomotive.
So apparently we're facing the wrong way. So we're going to reverse down there onto the turntable. into reverse <sighs> I'm gonna head down this way I think it's already set up actually yeah Pop onto the turntable. Turn the girl around. We'll drive straight through the, the tr uh, steel mill and then we'll reverse back onto those cars so that we can head out forward. The radiator is obviously on the front of this thing. On the front of this thing, actually. Yeah. There's another DE6. <laughs> oh, that's going to be bad. Just got got away with that. Sorry, there was a, a fly in my face. <laughs> so pop in here. Awesome. Can we reverse out? Go to the far side, and then it is that third line that we want to go on to from the other side. We'll hook it up, we'll take the job, and then we'll head off to the steel mill, which I've never been over to. Or not the steel mill, uh, machinery town. So we'll go over through the farm, over through the oil well. Turn at the city southwest and then into Machinery Town, uh, Machinery and Factory. Hope everyone is doing well this morning. It's afternoon, Eve. Jesus Christ, it's three o'clock.
So we're switching you. Take her into reverse. So that is the first line. That is the second line that we don't want. And this is the third line that we want to go on to. squealing at me didn't uh, register for a little while. There's a big ass spider after crawling onto my microphone. Why is that a thing? Alright, we're all hooked up. Uh, we'll go take the job. Tiger, this is probably one of the games you'd like. Uh, you do all the kind of games like this, don't you? My summer car and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right, we've 33 minutes. Get me out. So yeah, we picked it up on B20. And then we're heading to the machinery town. It's B3I. get there from the south we're going to take the first right and then the first left and then first right and the first left again okay um bear with me one second guys i'm gonna have to get this dude off my mic Okay, sorry about that. You gave me the runaround on me on microphone. Uh, brakes are off. Let's 
Start moving. So we're going right straight away. Pick up a good bit of speed, I think. Minus 1.3, was it? So, straight through the farm, straight through the aisle well. Then we're basically keeping right until we get to that main junction at Machinery Town. Yeah, we're picking up a good bit of speed. These should all be set to go straight through for the farm and the aisle well. Hopefully. See that went from 90 to 60 pretty quickly. The forest central is up there, but also there's our boom, what it looks like our home place. Which again, I've never been to. So we're set up to bypass that. Limit of 50 here. Oh god. No, I should be I should be on the right one. Yeah, and we're just going straight through the middle. Should, there should never be anything on the middle line. Again, we should just be going straight through. Excuse me.
and the next junction we're keeping to the right and then when we get to the city we're also keeping to the right <laughs> Yeah, Tiger, it's, it's, it's a good bit of fun already, and then it's it's having an, a big update at the end of the month. It's going to be a lot more simulator at the end of the month, supposedly. It's going to be day-night cycles, a uh, bunch of other mechanic changes, I think. Oh yeah, what one are you waiting for? I don't want any more games to come out because I have too many uh, I want to play already. But like, Rogue Trader is going to be out in August. It's going to be huge. Oh, Six Days of Fallujah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. It's all like going to be uh, procedural generations. Oh, that, that limit is 30. Did you do a tour over there at all when you were in the army? Twenty ten. About nine months. That's a standard tour, is it? A nice little bit of flat terrain. I don't need to go nuts on the speed. Leave early because of the flooding in Pakistan. We had to stay late to provide support when they went to kill the land. So, uh, okay. So luckily everything is kind of set up for the main line here anyway. This should be a pretty slow speed turn up here, I would imagine. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. How many things did you catch off that? You wanted a cheeseburger with extra bacon? Uh... Uh oh. So that wasn't set up right for us. I nearly missed that turn. Have you um, tried out Operation Harsh Doorstop? Uh, you should check it out. It's um, 
it's a free to, free to play game that you can pick up first person shooter um the big youtuber called blue drake 42 is one of the lead devs on it so they're making it that it's um highly moddable it's all about having a an active community working on it and they're updating it basically it's uh I've been following it for a while and they released it uh, a couple of weeks back and they're uh, continually adding to it yeah I would I'd say definitely check it out I think they're currently adding vehicles, uh, or they're w working on the vehicles. Uh, how anyone can shouldn't have uh, one word entitlement. People don't understand what actually goes into making a game and stuff. <laughs> I think you're roughly my age so like we were well you're probably younger than me actually I'm 37 and um do you know when I was a child I was outdoors because the games when I was a teenager like we had a Commodore 64 you know I had a childhood before the first PlayStation came out that kind of thing but people nowadays have it all from when they're born. Like, I, I got a mobile phone when I was 13. But it, it had two lines of text on the screen. It had, like, a solid aerial <laughs> and uh, stuff like that. You know? We used the landline. So, like, I'm in that generation where uh, kind of transcends from the old style childhood to the new one. It never sells to like 2005. Yeah, um, so I would have been like 2001 or 2002. The only reason that was is because um, my secondary school was a 40 minute drive, bus drive from home, so just in case anything happened, because our bus was crap. Yeah, like one of my childhood friends lived two to three hundred meters down the road from our house, and it was downhill, so we would stand outside in our front lawns and shout at each other. So we could hear each other and uh, organize, like, cycle up to the village or something, you know? That was our cell phone. Right, we're taking the left. And then we're taking the next right. Uh, this is a game I wanted to do a stream of this game for a while because I've been kind of chilling out with it. I do like this. What well, um? What happens if you drive too fast? Well, the name of the game is Derail Valley. And supposedly it does have some nice explosions in it. Because you can uh, have military equipment and oil tankers and all this kind of stuff on the back. <laughs> it's all about managing your speed, your heat, your fuel and your costs. 
like you can see that there that's gonna cost us more because we're damaging the wheels but now we're dropping sand so that's gonna cost us and we're going to the right oh yeah there are like there are full-on explosions and stuff you can lose the cars uh, I'll show you when we hand in this job actually it's actually part of the job that um you don't cause any environmental damage. And then as I said, at the end of the month, I think it's going to be even more simulator. So yeah, that's set right. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. At the moment, I'm just trying to get some money together, though, so I do want to get the jobs done. We're going up the hill here, so I'm going to get some power on. There we go. We're at a speed now that the wheels are not spinning trying to push it along. And we're heading in here, we said... Wait, what did we say? D3I. So, okay, we're taking first right, and then the first left. And then the first right, and the first left. You can see our heat is building. First thing you did see... <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Can run out of money. Also, like, there's only one save. As far as I'm aware, so I think you'd have I'd have to go out and uh I was gonna I wanted to start again for the stream. But uh there's only one save, so I think I have to go and uh delete the save. Start again. First right, first left. Yeah, first right, first left. So it looks like we are going up a hill, dragging all this. This is only the basic little machine that you start out with. So, first right, and um, as you can see, as I said before, this is not exactly to scale. So we're going left here. Like we've leveled out there as well, so let's turn that off. Coasting kind of helps with your costs and so on. Yeah, we're going left here, and then we're going first right. I think that's where we're going. D3I. We are in C. One, two, three. So, yep, yeah, this is exactly where we want to go. And all of these are other jobs that can be picked up right now. And then once we drop this, that's why uh, we move the, the locomotive away a little bit. It'll hit up a new job, probably with uh, all of this in mind. So, the last trailer should be in here now, so... Let's 
bring her to a stop. Let's get out and decouple. Again, the uh, tutorial is actually pretty good for this. Takes you through it. And you do start with a... Uh, where is it? There we go. An actual manual that tells you how to do all that. But it goes through everything, including derailing. Overheating, and you want to make sure that your radiator is out the front so you can actually do stuff. Uh, I need to... Move this bio out of the way. And then I need to find... Oh, there it is. I was about to say I need to find the station house, but it's right there. Turn off the engine so that we're not getting any more fees. And then we go in here and hand in this job. We did that in... 23 minutes, so we had 10 minutes to spare. We got 17,000 instead of 11,000. And then if we look at our fees, we've got fees of 6,200. You can imagine, like, we've made 11,000, but we have to pay fees of that much. But because we got a new license, we actually do have to pay 3,100. Which we'll do anyway. You have manual service, you can save money on this fee by servicing the vehicle manually. I don't. So technically we can now buy new licenses. We have 70,000. I kind of want to... Oh, I have no fees, that's right. I don't do I just want to save up and get the DE6. Anyway, like here's the, here's the jobs currently here now. Uh, shunting, I have a feeling that some of them are what we just brought up. Two drop-offs. I love the store and train with Iskar Electronics, Iskar Chemicals and Iskar Tooling. Going from Goods Factory Town to here. Huh? Shunting job to the steel mill. Pick up one. One pick up. Load and prepare train with scrap metal for departure. We can deliver back to the steel mill, which is probably the simplest job. 68 tons and a time bonus is 64 minutes for that. To the harbor town. Ooh. Hey, Orange Claw. Oh, it does it. Hold on. I can probably have a look at that. It'll tell me here, right? Oh, you need concurrent jobs too. Okay. Do I even have concurrent jobs one yet? No. Because that is going to raise our thing by seven and a half grand. But uh, if I got that, I could take these two jobs. And if I hit the right button. Because together they're like 230 tons. We can't take that because the uh, current locomotive we have can only take about 400 tons. And a logistics haul to the steel mill. Just haul empty cars. I have that license. Did I get logistics? I think I did. No. What would that do to us? You need concurrent jobs one for that, okay. Great. Hey, look at our lovely license.
So I think we take these two. We'll take, we'll put on these first. No, 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 no. We'll attach these first. Then we'll attach this. And, um, wait, what license did I just get? God, yeah, I got concurrent jobs one. Thank you for the follow, uh, Orange Law. So we'll go find these, we'll attach these. Emlet containers, empty containers. I don't see them here. Oh, wait. Is that them? That's them there. Color coded and all. MFFH56. So that's the first one that we're going to get, I think. I think. One, two, three. This could be the second one, actually. So we could actually do that really quick. Just double check that. So wait, we're going to take that one. MFFH15. Yeah, cool. So, do, 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 do. gonna move up there. We're gonna go onto that line. Sorry for the sniffling and the sneezing and stuff. Don't leave your windows open at night when it's a beautiful day out. So I want to go onto that line. Curious if this is gonna reset as we go through it. Yeah, it did. And did I go far enough? Oh, that's a different thing altogether. Never mind. these oh wait 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 I'm being an idiot because we're facing in the wrong way I need to go to the far side reverse in there and then do this that was nearly a big mistake There's a turntable here as well. Okay. Ooh, that was close. So let's go back out to the main line. the shop as well. I've never looked at the shop. How do I know where to go next? Uh, it's, I choose the jobs. So this one is going from Machine Factory Town to the steel mill.
So you, you get to choose where you're going. And uh, there is, of course, this massive map. So you, you can see we're in the machine factory town there over on the left-hand side. And we're heading down to the steel mill. So we're going to go into the steel mill first, drop off. Oh, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? Oh, I can't. No, I can't do that, yeah. We're going to drop off the three, uh, four things. I heard someone say it's better to put the lighter cars in the back. If you have the heavy ones in back, it's going to easier to derail going downhill. Yeah, maybe so. And then we could do a turnaround. No, that would be right. That would be right, because you'd have no weight in the middle. That is physics-based. Uh, yeah, we could do that. We can put the steel cars in the front. Then we're going to have to do a, um, a turnaround anyway in the steel mill. Then we can disconnect them and go straight out. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. It's all a learning experience. So, as you can see here, we're coming in from the north side now. We're going to go straight through the whole thing. And then we're going to go back up above 1P, use the turntable. And, um, do the thing. Probably just pay the fees before we accept the jobs. There's the turntable. So at least we know where we're going. take our time with this we'll be racking up fees so it's whatever fees are no good yeah but it's fine if we can get these two jobs done it'll be a nice little bit of a payout That's not lined up. Don't give me a click like that. There we go.
All right then. Oh yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up to both things. We're gonna turn off the engine and pay the fees. And uh, then I'm gonna go look at the shop. Excuse me. Jesus. Okay. So we were going... Were they on sea as well? They were on sea as well, weren't they? Or were they on B? Oh, no. They're on B. Okay. That's all I need to know. <coughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I'll do that. Alright, we'll do the scrap first. Right, so we need to be. We're going to the, the second last one. And then we're going into like one, uh, two, two out. Yeah, we're going to two out. That, that, get out of the way. All right, then we're going to go forwards. I don't think I let the brake pressure build up enough there. <laughs> Which is why we had such a hard time leaving. Alright, we're gonna let it 
to get the whole way out. And then we are going... That way, then that way. Lower down a little bit and let it just roll back into it. <laughs> Are we lurking? No worries, Tiger. that engine just so we're not getting any more fees. Oh. Grab you. Go for these brakes. Cool. So that train is now all connected up, ready to go. So when we're ready, we're going to go over to, where are you, here, I'm going to pick up those two jobs, but there's a shop over here, I want to check out the shop. Oh, it's the remote control. Which is the remote control? Oh man. Shovels, lighters. We have a remote control now. I don't know the buttons for this. <laughs> Alright, so let's have a look at our hot bar here. Uh, let's move the wallet down to eight. Move you down to one. World map is going to be two. Comms radio can stay there. Station map is going to be three. You there. Yep. 
I don't know how to use this. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. I'll have to read the, the manual, of course. Screw it, we have it now. That's the shop. Um, right, let's go do the thing. So, just moving those things around the yard cost us 1100 Uh, okay. Right. So. Get out of here. So we have accepted the two jobs. Our train is, I guess, ready to go. And we are going to be off to the steel mill. We'll let the brake pressure get up. Let's hope I did everything right. So we're going to B3I. Is not too bad. And we're on a um, descent here. I know it says the speed limit is 120, but that doesn't mean the speed limit down at the next turn is going to be 120. Might as well gain a bit of time if we can, though. Ten already. Of course, we can't go that fast, so we're good. There we go. It's at sixty. Use the train brake, it's very effective. Back to 70, but we're still on a decline. <laughs> oh, excuse me, 1.6 degrees. Yeah, now we're back down to 60. 
which we're at. I'm gonna keep it in and around that. We're still on a decline, so. Use that break a little bit, especially with this turn coming up. We do know that there's a hill up from the farm to the steel mill, which is... Oh, it's going to be a thing. Speed is about to reduce. So, I want to be well under whatever the hell it's going down to. It's dropping to 80, and it's going down further. Stay ahead of the curve. Going down to 60. That's going out to 30. Uh oh. Right then. So we stay left at the next junction and then we go straight through the oil well and the farm. And we stay left, go into the steel mill. just in case this uh, limit changes. Uh, you are set the correct way. Limit is 30.
use a little bit of sand to get us back up to speed. And then we're kind of straight shot up to the steel mill. I think around 50 should be fine. <clears throat> so when we get into the steel mill, we're coming to B. We're going to take the left and then we're taking the second right we're going to disconnect the steel or the metal scrap at the front disconnect the locomotive and move up to the um, turntable then reconnect to the cars and head down to the harbour town which is this one. We have 64 minutes to do that, so that's perfectly fine. Because we have two different jobs at the moment, though. See that 90, drops down to 60. You want to be really careful with that. So we'll just stick uh, coasting through at 50. This should be set up for us just to go straight through again. Like I said, we know that there's a hill now going across the river up to the steel mill. I think we can get a little bit of speed up to manage that. That's correctly set up there. That's good. What did we say? Uh, we're going left and then the second right. Limit 70 going up here. Immediately drops to 60 and we're going up a hill. It's 
we're going left. And then second right and we're braking. No, 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 that's wrong. No, is that to be connected into this? Oh, that's 7S? Oh, I mean... Wait. B3I. Oh, I looked at it backwards. Oh, I am an idiot. Because we came in from the set west. Well, lesson learned. Uh, you're all good. How, how's the locomotive? Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to reverse out. Like nothing happened. And we're going to go right and then on the second left. Probably should have, you know, opened my eyes and actually uh, looked ahead. Where's the fun in that? wait for the uh, brake pressure. to the right and then we're going to the second left that we've already set up there I did it wrong again God damn. So it's this one we need to switch, and then also this one. Whoops.
So what I'm actually going to do is disconnect them here. Once that stops. They are now in their little lane. So disconnect that. Set him rolling forward. We're going to hand in this one. Sure, we did that in 21 minutes. We're going to pop back over to you. We did that in 21 minutes, which means we have 42 minutes to get to the harbor town. So that's a load of time to get that bonus. Even with our mistakes. We haven't touched this in a while, so it should just be set up to go straight into the turntable. See the job we delivered earlier is still there. I was sure we would have taken damage from that uh, little shunt. Oh, it's further than I thought. There we go. And then we're going to reverse out again.
So now we're facing forward for our trip to Harbour Town. Okay, so that does switch back when you go over it. Makes sense. Pay attention, man. Pay attention. <laughs> this is why I play random games when I'm not feeling too well. It's, my head is all over the shop. <sighs> You need to put us back on that central line. straight through, reverse onto the cars that we left right there. And then head down to Harbour Town. And we currently have 44,000 in our wallet. Hey Reek, how are you doing bud? Is it still morning where you are? Jeez, it's like half four here. So, we don't have too far to go now. Hello, Monday though. Uh, bank holiday here. <laughs> so, it's uh, flying past. It's currently 24 degrees outside and I have a head cold. Because I left the windows open at night. Alright, hook them up. No. Oh, the brakes aren't on on them, aren't that right? Ah. Okay, we have to be kind of careful with this then. go. A little bit of care. That. We're all hooked up. Okay, and we're off to Harbour Town. So this job is on nine. It is only 68 tons, so it shouldn't cause us any issues hauling it. So, 
so uh, let's be on our way. Okay, we're going up to 80. That's good. Going to 90, but it's going straight down to 60. And we are going left, so that's fine. Speed of 70 on the left. again. Yeah, so 44,000, but we did spend 25 grand on the controller. Uh, we can stick with 70, so let's do that. The controller, which I haven't used yet. literally just tells you to click the buttons oh man how do you click the buttons That it? Where's the uh, free mess? Is that the inspect key? Ah, oh, it is the inspect key. Okay. It's Okay. So then we have throttle is Y and U. Brake independent brake is K and L.
Hey, the Marcel. Thank you. Yeah, uh, sorry, I didn't see your message before I figured it. <laughs> and then, of course, this is going to be a bigger issue when the update comes. This is solar powered. So even in the shadow of the cab, you can see that the battery power is going to go down. Um, to be honest, I don't need that right now. That'll be more useful when we're moving stuff around the yard. right at the next junction. This should already be set, because we haven't gone the other way at all. And uh, we can maintain our speed. Good. In reality, they don't, there's not much weight in this load at all. So we're having no trouble accelerating. Which is good. Or braking, for that matter. Sorry for sniffling into the mic. <clears throat> yeah, we're at 50, we're all right.
apply some brakes so that we don't end up down there, a la SnowRunner. Excuse me. And yeah, we have plenty of time. Uh, the job is up here. We're going to C2I. Oh, okay. Oh, and we're going right down the center. Oh, okay, so we're going to want to back that in. Uh oh. We good? I think we're good. That's why you want to pay attention coming up to junctions. Yeah, we're going downhill all the way in, so uh, we'll just let it ride. Actually, I want to go past the junction and reverse into C. Keep a little bit of the uni uh, universal break on. Independent break on. I keep saying it, universal. All So, we want him to come up here, past that. Thank you. 
Right, so slow it down altogether. Take out a thing, my bubber. It's now in reverse. So we'll take off the brake. So he's gonna pop down here. And basically we're going straight into three I S or C I S, excuse me. You can see the signal at the bottom then. There is a booster you can get, I think. Is that right? Uh-oh. I'm an idiot. I didn't even notice that was wrong. <laughs> Move it forward again. And that's your, um... Warning spinning the wheels So we can do that, put it in forward, not hit the windows key, on top of those trailers, take off the brake. Get over to here and do that job. So, 49 minutes to do the two jobs. So not too bad. We got the bonus, which is still only nine grand. And no environmental damage. <laughs> that was the thing. Four thousand. Oh, it needs hazmat. Of course, it does. Going to the steel mill for six. That needs hazmat. That needs hazmat. That needs hazmat. Good food and factory town. Logistics hall. Freight hall is 450 with hazmat. That's kind of nuts. Can't do much here. Uh, we could do this. Goods in factory town. That would be going up through the steel mill, right? So that's 102 tons. And then you're 174 tons. Right, we take the both of them. This time will be 
I think we'll leave the scrap metal on the back. We don't want to turn around. What licenses do I have? Not many. So I have, yeah, the train, freight, shunting, uh, the T2, of course, all the basic stuff there. And then I got concurrent jobs. And train length. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is just doing these two jobs and then getting logistics all maybe. Is what I'm thinking. But we did do damage to them. <laughs> Whoops. That is that, isn't it? That's what that is. What's our wallet on? Eight. We didn't make anything for that second job, really. Air damage. Yeah, because I smashed into it. Right, let's see if we can do these two jobs then. So the first one is HBFH. No, that's not going to be the first one. H97 is what we're looking for. HB, the food and from the harbor to the factory. Oh no, from the what? Never mind. I'm just being an idiot. HBFH97 is three scrap metal bins that we're looking for. Uh, first off, they're probably not down here, right? No, they're just empty cars for the logistics hall. There's no scrap metal there. Logistics stuff there. Here they are. That's the scrap metal we want. And FH forty three is six of those containers. Was that back here? Two blue, two green, two orange. Oh, what do you sell in the shop here? Oh, the watch. 5,000 for the watch. Be alright. <laughs> Missing. We're out of range for that. Oh. What am I missing? The The metal ones are in C, right? Or not C, um... D. D. 
Yeah, we're in D here. And that's six containers. Deliver empty containers. They're hardly going to be in the military. I think they're in a, an E yard, like over 10 or 11. Oh, do you know what I was doing? I was looking for where is this damn job? I was looking for um, oil containers. This is them here. Okay, so we pick these up, then we reverse back down into thingamabobber. And uh, that'll be grand. Okay. And they're in the end one, so that's perfectly fine. We just need to set this. Take us that way. Down to the end there. Sorry, we're in C, so we're going to go... <laughs> left here. Yeah, this is all set up. Then we're just going to roll back into the... This job.
Yeah, and now, of course, with this, I can just do this, right? Saves a bit of hassle. Milkshake Deluxe, how are you doing? Up all as well. Doing good? Good to hear. You love shunting in this game? I haven't done much of the shunting yet. Or any of the shunting yet. I'm just doing a couple of freight hauls at the moment. So it's this one I want to go down. But it to be multiplayer just so somebody can take the trains I make somewhere else. Well, um, yeah, that, that would be cool. Actually, multiplayer would be cool. They'd have to have multiple lines, though, wouldn't they? Couldn't be a single line network then. So I'd imagine there's a lot to that. Oh, yeah, in practice, it's a bit different, though, right? <laughs> it's it's okay to say, yeah, I just communicate, but if you have, like, a 20-kilometer run on a single track and you've already made a mistake, um, that could be an issue. I'm still trying to get used to these controls. So we'll start reversing him back, keep him at a slow pace. Like that's plenty. And then like uh, this needs to go that way. Right. And then this one needs to go that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's definitely a huge um, opportunity there. So you're keeping us straight, but we don't want that. We want go that way, and then we want to that way I think I've done that right Watch your train go to a completely different yard. Oh, well, would you look at that? Speak of the devil. That's not where I wanted you to go. Called it. Yeah, because you probably saw me do that switch and we're like, oh no, what's he doing? Hey, learning experience.
It's a shunt you learn the way of the tracks, yeah. Do I play other train games? Um, well, I like Transport Fever 2. Play a bit of that every now and then. Uh, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. I, I really like that game because of the depth of it. Um, I don't play like Sim Train or anything like that. This would be the main thing I might be dabbling in. Crashes fairly frequently on you? Oh, really? I haven't actually had any crashes on that, I think. Is there any reason? Is there a log that you can send off? Um, right, so we're going that way and then that way. That's right. I need to check that now after the last thing. Oh, just... Oh, okay. Just CTDs, like... Using mods or anything? But, uh, no, we do a variety of games on the channel here. There's something I'm missing. Alright, but... Enjoy the dinner. Thank you for the follow, uh, the Marshall. Marcel. Slow down. There we go. So, can I just like couple like this now? Oh, good. I like that. So let's take off that break. So what does this do then? Oh, oh, oh no, I don't know how that works. So we can select how many of these we decouple. Is that from... From the train or from the back? There's like minus one, so I presume that's minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, so on. So when I'm decoupling them, do I decouple minus six? Minus one is behind the locomotive. Nice. Okay. Good to know, and I'll totally forget it in about five minutes. Right then, it was that job and the one in our hand. Was that? Oh, 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 what am I missing here? Oh, I can pay. Okay, I have to pay all those loans off. Well, not loans, but uh, debt off.
Well, this will be fun. Pay for the damage we caused. Get over there. Oh, it paid all of it. Okay. Get out of here. So we want to take that job and that job. So I can't turn it on from here, which is fair enough. You don't need to carry all that they will respawn and the lost and found shack next to the station. Didn't know that was a thing. That's what that is then, huh? Um, nah, I'm not too worried. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Again, apologies for the uh, sick head. So we're heading to the steel mill. We're heading to A6I. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go straight through and we're going to reverse into where we left the other batch of trailers. We're going to decouple the last three and then we're going to go straight out again up to uh, the goods factory. And we're going into D5I in the goods factory. Which is all the way around. So we'll want to go in through B. We're going to go in through B. We're going to go down here and then we're going to reverse into D. All right, D Marcel. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the, the tips. Speed limit is 50, but we're going uphill. Pump the brake a little bit. Keep us under that 40.
even with the sand. Hey, we can go up to 70, yay! Gain a little bit of speed if we can, because we're going to have to coast soon. Hopefully get to level out here a bit soon. Gradient is 0.5. Keep left and then uh, keep right going into the steel mill. And we'll use the remote control then in the steel mill to order out what we have to do. Struggling. Man, we better not go over the sixty.
Alright, I think we have most of the climb done. That's good. Except that we don't. Overheat a little bit. Yeah, yeah. level ground now so we can coast a bit with that temperature come down wonder how much this is going to cost so we're at 44.5 Wait, did our engine shut off? Oh, it did. <laughs> Glad I noticed that before we came to Hill. So we don't have much to worry about with junctions until we get to the steel mill. And then we're going straight through the steel mill and reversing into the same spot we did before. <laughs> Except now we have this. So we should be able to pick up the speed here a bit. Make up a little bit of time.
We're coming up to the two junctions that we don't need to do anything with. Just watch our speed. And then we just have to make sure that the last junction is set to go into the steel mill. <laughs> We're at 80. Is that going to go into 70? Going down to 50. 60, excuse me. Probably going down to 50 for the junction. It's going to 80. Nice. And then back down to 60. This is where we're coming right up to the other junction. downhill into the steel mill. So technically we saved a bit of money right when the when the engine turned off. Yeah, we'll stick the 60. We can stick with the 60 through here. Yeah, 60 will be fine. I don't know, are there speeding fines for going through here too fast? Just pump the train brake. So, how are we doing? We're doing okay here. That's gonna send us. Nope. Ooh, that was. That was close. That was close. So we're gonna pop up here, we're gonna have this. Our bio is coming on through. Once he gets past there, set that up. And then you are set up to go there, go there, and then we need to switch this one to go in there and then I think that's right that's right uh, brakes or this one Start slowing it down a little bit
It's using the reverse gear to hook this out. So he's going to come down here. That is correct. I think the left or the right here. The, the right here. Then we're going to pop it at the 6i here. Knock off the last three trailers. Got a little bit out of range there. <laughs> oh god, excuse me. We've already got the brakes on. So then I want to go... There, I'll do that, and then we want to go uncouple. Well, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Great. Uh, I want to reverse back. Couple, we want to go minus seven. And we want to put it into forward gear. And honestly, we can just let it roll. We're going to go over to here. Wanted to have that job on. Here we go. 24 minutes. That's done. Another nine grand. And then the other job is on number nine. So again, these don't weigh that much. Eh, they're 100 tons. I don't think we're going to get the bonus out of this, though.
what were we, 23 minutes for that first job. And the bonus on this is 36. So we'll probably only get the 5.8k for this. We got nine grand for the last job. I keep moving the buttons. So we're on 53. We started on 44 or 5 before doing these two jobs. <laughs> So yeah, we're not going to make that much because we bought those licenses. to the goods factory we're going straight through B we're gonna take the right and then we're gonna reverse back into D and drop off this We're coming up on that junction. down a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Jesus. Right. Limit of 70 and we're going uphill.
Yeah, okay. So, we're going straight through here. Then we are taking the next right. We're going straight through there. We're going to level out at the far side and then we're going to reverse back. into the spot that we need to be, which is E5I. So we'll be coming from the northeast, that's the only way we can. Should be that. Uh, pop you into reverse. Take the brake off. Be reversing a bit. Uh, they're both bringing you down this line. Then you're going to get to here. You're going to be moving over here. And then into E5I. We can hook up two of these together, right? Something I want to do. I screwed that up. I keep doing this. That's the wrong line. This one I should have picked. This one is what I need. God damn it. Keep doing that.
Yeah, you could probably go back a little bit more, couldn't you? Couple them, pop you into forwards. the shop. Oh, it's over here. See how uh, far out we were. Two minutes. Ah, oh, two minutes. Could have been worse. Please. So we made five and a half grand off those two jobs after bills. Here's the uh, the products that go everywhere as well. So I presume, Lyndon, you could you could go up to the forest, do a run of logs to the sawmill, and pick up another job from the sawmill to go to the goods factory and stuff like that. Like the, the forest there to the sawmill, the goods factory. That's a thing. Right. Deliver pipes to the harbor. 8,700 plus the bonus. We could probably definitely do that. And deliver empty uh, containers to the harbor. 36 minutes for both of them. We can probably do both of them. Because obviously, you know, most things go to the harbor. Would we get away with doing the three? Probably not, because I'm bad. Drop offs, one drop off, 12 minutes. Get from Harbor Town to here, is that right? That confuses me. This is a shunting job from Goods Harbor or Goods Factory to the Harbor Town. Yeah, and you have 36 minutes. This is from Harbor Town to Goods Factory, and you have 12 minutes. Ah. Uh, so, what are our stats that are? There? Our copay is 10,600. Our fee tolerance is 8,200. Our copay remaining is 1,600. Does that any of that mean? There's a lot of pipes. Let's go into Harbor Town. I 
find out. Is this the one that we brought up earlier and it's asking for that to go back to Harbortown? QFFH87. It is. So those two are right beside each other over there. By the looks of it. So we could take them two back down to the harbour. Which we could... Well, actually we couldn't. I made this mistake before. That I came from Harbour Town. I went out the east side thinking I could get to the goods factory. But of course you can't. Put that there. I ended up having to go all the way around. Uh, maybe we'll do that another time. I'm going to call it there for now, guys. Um, I'll go off, get something to eat, and lay down for a bit. Uh, probably be back on later with something else. Maybe some battle tech. Maybe something completely different. I don't know. All right, thanks for hanging out, and uh, have a good one. We'll throw a raid over to uh, Tiger. He's a cool guy. Um, um.